Well, described as part memoir, part galvanizing call to arms, a new book follows one woman's path from humble beginnings to politics, eventually working on four presidential campaigns and serving in the White House. Joining us now is Karine Jean-Pierre. She's the Chief Public Affairs Officer for Move On and author of Moving Forward, A Story of Hope, Hard Work, and the Promise of America. Karine, it's great to have you with Thank us. Thank you for having me, guys. Thank you so much. It's my publication launch week, so it's yes. been very exciting and exciting to be here, too. Down on the floor of the New York Stock <laughs> That's Exchange. right. Never been. First time. Well, welcome. <laughs> Why did you decide to write the book now? Well, I decided to write the book now because in the last three years, in particular under this administration, there's been this really awful anti-immigrant sentiment uh, rhetoric, I should be really clear about that. And also just, if you are part of the other, if you are um, a person of color, if you are a woman, if you par are part of the LGBTQIA community, if you are a Muslim or even in the Jewish community, you have been ousted and treated in a way where you don't belong in a country that welcomed people like my parents many, many years ago and myself. Uh, to be clear on that. And so I wanted to write a, a book that inspired people, that motivated people, that told the truth and, in a very honest way about what it's like to live in this country and to be an immigrant and why immigrants come to this country. They want to make it better and they want to provide for their family. And also, you said in your intro, it's a call to arms. We're going to go into 2020 next year. And I want to make sure people understand that the time is now to get involved politically. And there's a path to do that. There's a way to do that. And I also give a blueprint in my book and show how I got involved into politics. So it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a lot, <laughs> but given, it's important. Well, given the, the rhetoric that we've heard from the president and many of his allies uh, and the anti-immigrant actions yeah. uh, that the president has taken, a lot of his allies have taken as well, what right now gives you hope or, or does help you think that we can move forward. Well, I think if you look at the last three years, the, the resistance, if you will, right, the movement of people just coming out and, and voting and showing their power. Look, we just had to, Virginia, a really amazing win for Democrats in the House and the, and the Senate, in the House, State House and the State Senate. And, um, and we, we, the, one of the Republicans that, were, that was left in the statewide is now gone, has been voted out. I mean, that indicator presented itself in 2017 in that Virginia governor's race. And so if you go start from 2017 to now, the wins that we have had and the, the energy, I think that gives me hope. But we can't sit on our laurels. We got to keep moving. We're going to need a movement to win in 2020. And so that's part of the book as well which is you not just voting, it's important to vote, we got to vote, but it's also making sure your neighbors get involved, making sure you're knocking on doors, making sure you're, you know, making phone calls, making sure you are, you have a voice and you do have a voice if you get involved in the pol in, in the political arena. Those suburban areas, right? Yeah. Obviously uh, very, amazing. very key in, in Virginia, yeah, in, in Kentucky, Kentucky yep. as as well, yep. removing the, the governor, the Republican yeah. governor there. Exactly. Kentucky, huge win. It's a state that Donald Trump won by 30 points in 2016 a deep 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 ruby red state it's amazing to have seen what the, the turnout from there and that a democrat is one that that gubernatorial seat and also virginia is very interesting especially as you look at 2020 virginia represents a lot of other states it's rural it's urban it's diverse and um, that's a state that republicans need to win that states like that and so the fact that now virginia is a blue state when i worked on obama in 2008, Obama was turned that state, you know, trending blue, and that was the first time we had seen that in decades. And from there, it just keep, it kept on trending, trending, trending. And now it's a blue state. That says a lot for, for 2020. What message do you have for young people right now who may look at what's happened over the yeah. last few years and just say to themselves, I want nothing to do with politics yeah. beyond voting? I mean, yeah. look what just happened recently with Katie Hill, for yeah, example, the representative yeah, who was forced to resign. Yeah. She was seen from, by many as Hey, uh, she is part of the millennial generation. Yeah, She's a young person yeah. entered, uh, who entered the race, and, and just you know, uh, within uh, this very short time, yeah. she stepped down because of, uh, among other things, uh, uh, nude photos leaked. Of her. Yeah, yeah. And and here's the thing with that. I mean, she, it's it's tough, right? We she 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 was um, an important voice to have, as you just mentioned. You just listed out 
all those reasons. And it, it was also p part of a, a horrible, you know, revenge porn, which we should really have a conversation ab about that, which should not be, uh, should not be okay, clearly. But look, I tell young people this, if you care about climate change, if you care about gun reform, and many young people care about the economy, that's really important in trying to find jobs, you gotta get involved politically. You gotta step in the arena. It, you know, I would even say to them, run yourself, because the folks, the, the folks who are making policies and legislation, if you don't vote for them or decide who it's going to be making the decision about your life, then you really can't complain. And so I, it, there is the urgency is now. In 2020, we will have a choice. Do we want the country that we're becoming or going back to, or do we want to move forward? And that is what I tell young people. As someone who worked with uh, President Obama, are you surprised that we haven't seen him on the campaign trail yet, um, at least, right, supporting as his former <laughs> Vice President Joe Biden? I think the president, when we have a nominee, he will be all in. And I, I'm, I, I don't think that's anything that any of us are worried about. Look, we have a diverse, incredibly talented field. I think it's down to 19 people now. And for him to step into that would be would be something that taking away from like the, the, the democracy of it right the, the letting the people choose and I think once we have a nominee and I know once we have a nominee he'll be all in for that nominee and do whatever it takes to make sure that person wins all right well we'll expect to see former President Obama on the campaign trail Corrine Jean-Pierre chief public affairs officer for move on also the author of moving forward a story of hope hard work and the promise of America the book is available now thank you so much thank for joining you guys us I appreciate it have a great day congratulations